With your first news at 10 Sports, here's Jeff Roberts. This weekend was the second annual Justin Damari Memorial Tournament up in the Magic City. Justin played baseball for Minot State before passing away in 2021. This year's tournament included the Minot Vistas, the Mandan Chiefs, and two teams from Montana. Today saw the Vistas and Chiefs go down to the wire. Minot beat Mandan twice in a doubleheader just over two weeks ago. Vistas would open the scoring in the bottom of the second inning. Aiden Deal's grounder skips off the mound into center field. Tyson Raziska, he scores to make it a 1-0 ball game. Their lead would soon grow to two when Easton Panasuk lashes this ball to left field. A, try, a nice diving effort, but it finds the grass and scores their second run. Chiefs would answer back in the top of the third. Braden Bennell, he goes to right center field with a base hit. Coming in to score is Lucas Burgum. It's tied at two. So the Chiefs would continue to score, and they take the lead. Tucker Horner hits a ball deep to center field. It's going to be caught, but it's a productive out. McCoy Keller makes it a 3-2 game. This one would go down to the wire, but it's Minot that wins it via the walk-off. Here's their head coach after the win. Mandan's tough. I mean, they've been smashing the baseball early on in this weekend, and we know if we don't pitch it well and we're not very sharp, they're going to give us trouble. So our one big inning where we gave up three and our pitcher didn't, didn't get too frustrated and just kept us in the game, that's what we've talked about. As long as we don't have a meltdown and we just stick with it, like we'll have a chance. So J Jackson Radke on the mound did a really good job for us, keeping us in the game to allow our bats to, to come back for them and get that win. A lot of Legion teams are preparing for plenty of baseball over the next week. A big series in our area. We'll see the Govs and Chiefs meet a couple times in their annual 4th of July week doubleheader. After being swept by the Braves this week, the Twins fell two games below 500 for the first time this season. The bats came alive and Pablo Lopez pitched a great game last night to take the first of the series in Baltimore. This afternoon was game two of that series and Minnesota looked to clinch another series win. Twins look to clinch. Uh, um, it was 8-1 to win last night. Different outing today. It was the first when Minnesota first threatened. Two runners on, two outs. Kyle Bradish gets the K. If you came for runs, this was not the game for you. Twins threw out Bailey Ober, and he was special the entire afternoon. Seven innings, eight strikeouts, no walks, only two hits. In the fourth, one swing sealed this game. A slider up in the zone, Joey Gallo. His 15th homer of the year. It makes it 1-0, and that would be all the scoring. We go back to our real star, Bailey Ober. He just continued to pound the strike zone all seven innings. He's now gone at least five innings in every start in 2023. To the ninth, Orioles have a runner in scoring position for the first time. Max Kepler makes quite possibly the play of the year. He slides into foul territory for the second out of the inning. And this was the icing on the cake in the series clincher. one nothing the final. Bailey Ober was special in his fourth win of the year. Minnesota is back at 500. We'll go for their first series sweep tomorrow since the first series of the summer. In college summer baseball tonight, the Larks get back in the win column and are only two games below 500. The Big Sticks are currently winning with an inning to play. On the heels of a Calder Cup championship, Minot native Mason Morelli is signed to his first NHL deal. Morelli signed a two-way contract with the Vegas Golden Knights this afternoon. The two-way deal means Morelli can be moved up and down between Vegas and their AHL affiliate and still make his full $775,000 a year salary. That's a million and a half over the next two years. Morelli is doing well for himself. Well, congratulations to him, and I know the Golden Knights got a good one. Oh, yeah, especially coming on the heels of their Stanley Cup championship. That's a good find for them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back.